these are my Crank Brothers double shot pedals and this is why I'm switching the Shimano SPDs. Welcome to the vlog, welcome to No Boring Days. This is actually my second pair of Double Shot Crank Brothers pedals. It's my second pair in two years, so that's an average of one per year. Honestly, they are perfectly fine pedals. I really like how they feel on uh, when I'm clipped in. I was reading a little bit about Crank Brothers on the internet. It seems like the older Crank Brothers pedals have some problems with uh, durability. And there seems to be a level of regular maintenance needed for the Crank Brothers pedals. And to be honest, the only thing I've ever done in terms of maintenance is put chain lube in the locking mechanism. That's really the only kind of maintenance I've ever done. And this one literally fell off while I was biking. There was a loud uh, ripping sound. It was weird. It, it sounds like a ripping sound. And the pedal just fell off while I was biking. It was a sad day. I hobbled back home. So maybe I didn't do enough maintenance. Maybe there's some bearings that need to be changed in here. I don't really know. But the truth is, I, I'm just not good at maintaining things. And I bike a lot. And a lot of the parts on my bike, I rather get something more durable. And I got myself a Shimano PDM520 pedals. It seems like the Shimano ones need less faffing around, less maintenance. So I'm going to give them a try. And honestly, if they la if the one pedal lasts more than two years, I would be happy. So let me know if I did anything wrong. Let me know if I can still fix this. I I'm a sucky mechanic. But again, I'll be changing to the Shimano SPD pedals because all I know is I've gone through two Crank Brothers pedals in two years, which... You know, I'm trying not to spend money here. So I took a video of my first impressions with the Shimano SPD pedals and here it is. I guess this is a, as good a place as any to do the first ride impression. I've worn it for 35 minutes now and so compared to the Crank Brothers, it feels like there's more play on the pedal, like my foot can move around. It seems like my foot is floating a little bit more. I don't know if it's because the, my Crank Brother pedals used to have platforms, so maybe the platforms made it feel more secure. It feels easier to clip out of the Shimano SPD pedals, that's for sure. But also at the same time, because there's more play, because it feels looser, uh, it doesn't feel as secure to the pedal. But that could just be me. I've ridden with it for 35 minutes now. It's, it's totally fine. There was even a section on the way here where it was definitely very rocky and very bumpy. And, you know, the pedals stayed clipped as they should. I don't expect any less from a Shimano product. I have not tested it with mud though, because that was one of the things that the Crank Brothers was really good at. It was really good at shedding mud out of the pedals. So even in situations where I had really muddy shoes, I could still clip in with the Crank Brothers pedal. I have not tested that yet with the Shimano. One last thing about the Shimano SPD pedals. I put the clip position in basically the same place that I had my Crank Brothers pedal. And it feels like there is a slight difference. I'm going to continue riding now to see if I should change the clip position when I get home. But it does feel a little bit different. I usually put the clips as close towards the bike as possible. And I notice my feet are rubbing a little bit on the crank arms. But uh, not too bad. It could just be that my feet's not used to it yet. So I'm going to ride some more to see how it goes. Water bottle fell. 
I ended up going to some really muddy situations. Basically, I chose a road that I wasn't familiar with and kept going. It's nice to get lost every now and then, especially when you're trying out new equipment. Really let it go through the rounds. One of the things that I used to do with my other pedal was when I wasn't feeling uh, confident, I would unclip it and I would pedal unclipped. I haven't tried it yet with the Shimano SPDs because part, like I went up this really steep section here where it's all dirt and usually I would unclip. It was really steep at sections and really there was a cement section that was really steep and slippery. Fortunately, I did not slip. The bike didn't slip. The wheel didn't lose traction. But it felt like I had more confidence going up that hill than usual. I would still like to test it. Maybe I'll go towards traffic. That's when I usually do it. When I go to traffic, I usually unclip one foot and then pedal unclipped. And maybe that's what we'll do next. Let's go to traffic. Uh, first, let's test it on some single trap. So usually, you can ride you can ride down this, but it's really wet and muddy and slippery today. There's music. He's, he's turning on the music. Alright, I didn't expect that ride to have a multitude of terrain, but that's perfect for the first ride with the Shimano SPDs. Uh, did basically everything that I would normally do during a regular ride. Did a road ride, did an off-road ride, did some walking, stepped on some mud, clipped in with the mud. So far, so good. Just feels a little bit different. That's it. Not necessarily better or worse. Just a little bit different. Alright, no boring days. Subscribe.